The initial conversion of what is now New Mexico from a native culture into a blend of Hispanic and native is thanks to Spain. This change began in earnest almost 500 years ago along with the arrival of the conquistadors. Bob Martin has more to kick off this legendary New Mexico. The long abandoned Zuni village of Hauicu, walls melted into the landscape, is where New Mexico's Hispanic heritage was born in 1540. Inspired by tales of riches, Francisco Vasquez de Coronado's collision with the native world here was violent. First impression of impacts would be devastating. Uh, of course, um, forced out of your home, uh, you know, by, by, by an attack. Coronado and others took native food supplies, used forced labor. Hispanic culture began to change native life. Obviously, if you've never seen a horse or a sheep before, that must, must have been a shock. But over time, Zunis, I think, uh, and other Pueblos and other people in this region accepted some things and rejected some things. Coronado soon moved to Pueblos near Albuquerque. At Coronado State Historic Site, scientists still study the impact of the massive expedition. That's extremely bad news for a Pueblo population that has to look after those people and the large number of animals they had. There was more violence, the story still being unraveled. People come to our site expecting a large statue of Coronado, you know, Coronado Monument, and they think that we're here to glorify that. Uh, but actually we're not. We're here to start a dialogue as to what happened during this time period. Coronado left in 1542, followed in 1598 by Don Juan Oñate. More violence, hundreds of Acoma residents among those killed or maimed communities and Catholic churches multiplied. The most, I believe, lasting presence of the early conquest is the strength of Catholicism in New Mexico in both the Hispanic communities and in the Pueblo communities. In 1680, the Pueblos drove the Spanish out, but they and coexistence returned 12 years later. Today, Spanish colonial life in New Mexico can be experienced at Rancho de las Golondrinas near Santa Fe. Oñate brought four blacksmiths. And not a lot of metal was brought up because of the weight. They reused whatever they had. Carpenters fashioned chairs, wagon wheels, and more. With an ax, you can build a house. So that's one of the first primary concerns was shelter. Sheep provided food and wool. Weaving traditions are preserved. Well, we don't want our culture to die down. You know, we want to keep it going. We want people to walk away feeling like they've stepped back in history. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13.